Hi, this is my first painting in a while to do a traditional painting slash gloss paint. It's been a while since I'm able to finally to sit and paint. I have these medical conditions that will allow me to do this for a lot of period of time still to this day. The hardest thing is to figure out what I'm going to draw and since this is my first time painting with gouache, I wanted something easy and simple. I fell in love with this one painting and some pinks and purple in the sky and it has a reflection in the lake. I think the hardest part is just trying to get it all smooth and translucent. I decided to do the sky force for the painting. I have some purple and white and then I'm just mixing some purple into the white so I can get a lighter shade to start out with and then if I need a darker shade I can come in with that purple. I am nervous but also excited to try gouache. Nervous because I never tried this before and the only thing I know about gouache is it's like acrylic and watercolor in one. So for this one first drawing that I'm doing or painting, I'm trying not to think it look perfect or if I made a mistake that's okay because I'm still learning with this new medium. Now I'm just going to have the same color outline where the sky is going to be ending so I know this a general idea where I need to stop painting. Finally got a cup of water and a towel to clean and dry off my brush. Getting my next color ready so I can add it to the sky. I have noticed that when I paint, it's a lot easier on my wrist. Maybe it's because less pressure that I have to grab for a pencil when I do digital art. Just some things that I have to keep in mind. Let me know if you want me to make a video about explaining more in depth about my medical illnesses or conditions. It has been about 10 years.
that I have been sick and I'm willing to showing it if anybody is wanting to hear from it. It will just be a time lapse of me talking more in depth about my illnesses while I am making or creating a painting. Adding my third color into the sky. To make the sky more easier to blend, I chose a lighter purple so it could have more a translucent blend to a purple and a pink. I decided to add some clouds, or try to at least, but I just didn't like how it turned out, so I decided to just blend it with the pink. So now the pink is a different color, but that's fine by me. I am experimenting with the sketchbook as well, so you can see sometimes I flip it back and forth to see if it's not bleeding on the other side of the page. But the only thing that I really notice is this the paper sometimes gets a little bit buckly, but other than that, it was good. I am adding some land to this, some hills here and there. I kind of made a little mistake on the um, lake, but it actually turned out okay. I just had to add some different colors and then blend that out, and it looked fine.
I think this painting took me around three days to complete it. I had to take some breaks. So it was just one sitting and I was done. Now I'm just adding some colors to the lake and trying to blend it out from the black purple into the lighter purple. As you can see right now, I'm adding the reflection to the sky onto the lake. I try really hard right now to focus on this mostly blending and then I can just add some highlights and details to the next day. I am trying to add some clouds in the sky again. Hopefully this time I like it a lot better. I'm just adding in the line for the reflection of the lake and some highlights.
It was really hard and funny and good shade that won't look exactly the same as the false color. Doing the clouds for the last time, hopefully I would like it a lot better than those other two times. Trying to start lighter this time with that lighter purple. And then add some more shade so it could have more depth to it. Really liking how these clouds turn out, so now I'm just adding in them to the lake. Now for the final step, adding in some more highlights with the white. Really like how this turned out. This was my first traditional painting for a while now. And with a new medium gouache. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!